hey what's up everybody welcome back today we got the 2021 mercedes amg one this is an s2 998 tune i'm going to give you guys the upgrades the tuning and we're going to take it for a race at grand pantano sprint to see how it performs make sure you stick around to the end of the show i got something really special for you guys I'm going to show you how I like to tune the upper classes. Now, there's a reason I tune this way, and we're going to talk about it as we go through it. We're going to start here at the conversions. The only thing we can do is change the drivetrain, and we're not going to do that. We're going to leave this all-wheel drive. I'm going to show you typical settings to get your all-wheel drives to not have so much understeer. We're going to work on that. But first thing you want to do, you want to check your tuning. So you have adjustable tires, gears are not, alignment is not, roll bars, basically... The brakes are tunable and the differentials half tunable. It's important to know when you go into these things, tires, brakes, differential. It's not really that much. It's not going to make a difference here. Um, but you do want to know that when you start your tuning. The next thing we're going to do, you should always do this, especially this one is more important than that one. In my opinion, you want to look at the side of the car and turn the tires. You want to see if that back tire turns as well. And it does not. So we do not have four wheel steering with this car. Those are the two things you need to do before you start any build. So on to the upgrades and tuning the custom upgrades. Uh, we start with the conversions always. And the reason you start with conversions is because if you do a conversion afterward, it eliminates the upgrades. Say if you change your engine, your engine upgrades are gone you change your transmission your transmission upgrades are gone so you just waste time if you start there then you do a conversion you lose all that stuff you started with so you always start with your conversions then i go to my tires next and how you judge what kind of tires whether your tires are good or not it takes a little bit of time you'll get used to that you'll start learning how many lateral g's is good for this class how many lateral g's is good for that class and you start learning those things what we're going to look at here is the lateral g's man that's got pretty good lateral g's and the next tire is over is a semi slicks. So that means that we are already sitting on, on semi slick compound. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that to full race compound. And the reason I'd like to do that at the higher classes, your cars are already fast. The difference between a good car and a crap car at these higher classes is usually the guy who can drive it. So we want our car to be drivable. So we're going to give us the best chance to make it drivable by upgrading our tire width front and rear and uh and upgrading our tire compound now if it comes back that you did it too much still that's good you can always come back and change that later and add more power but first you want to make sure the car is drivable all right so we upgraded the tire compound and the front tire with we're going to leave the rim style alone for now let's look at the drivetrain well let's see that's a six eight nine ten so this one here is a seven and I'm going to bet that the stock transmission is also a 7. So we'll go ahead and we'll just switch to the race so it gives us the full gear. It gives you the final drive and every gear so you can tune. And it's not changing the weight, not changing the amount of gears. We're just switching to one that's fully tunable. Uh, then we'll also go ahead and make the... This doesn't cost you any PI. This fully unlocks the differential tunings. And we're going to leave the drive line alone for now. Then we'll go into the platform of handling. We're going we're gonna to want to do that weight reduction. For sure, it's all-wheel drive, so we're going to need the front and rear anti-roll bars tunable. It's so important, so we're going to go do that. We're going to throw the race suspension on there, and that'll make that tunable as well. Next, we're going to see what we can throw on here. Perfect. Oof. Well, you can do everything except that, huh? Let's see what happens. All right, so that's at 990 with 1118. That's at 998 with 1195. So that's the way we're going to go. We're going to go race turbo, race cam and valves, stock fuel system. That puts us right at S2998 with 1195 horsepower, 698 foot pounds of torque at 3134 with a 50%, 49% weight distribution. Well, let's see what we can do now. If we can add anything, we're going to try, we're going to throw on the race drive line. Perfect. Brings us down 10 pounds. And let's see if we can make some lighter rims on there. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. No, that's it. They're, the rims are already as light as they're going to get. So that's that. So that's going to be the upgrades. Pretty straightforward there. Uh, let's go into the tuning. All right, so the tire pressures, I've done extensive testing on this. And if you leave your tire pressures up here, they're going to be too hard 
in, when they get hot. So we're going to lower this down to about 27.5, and that's going to put you right about 32 PSI while you're racing. This is for road racing. The gears, well, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now we're just going to adjust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on that 5651. We're going to move this all the way down to 220 and work our way back from there. Keep an eye on that 0 to 100 time. 5651. 5128, we made a huge upgrade by going down to 220. Let's see what happens if we go back to the right. 0 0.05, 5128 is what we're trying to beat or at least get back to. 5078. 5078 there at 250. Let's keep going. All right, so we're going to go back to 250, and I'm going to show you how I would fix this. We're going to try and take full advantage of that 0 to 100 time. All right, so let's jump here. We're going to shorten this up a bunch. It shouldn't affect our 0 to 100, and we're going to do that for the rest of the gears as well. Try and get them on this chart. Something like that. It's what we're going to start with. And then we're going to go here. And I'm going to move this left and right, keeping an eye on that 0 to 60, 0 to 100. That's bad. That's bad. Right. We may not be able to do too much here. Oh, look at that. All right, let's adjust this one. Make it shorter than the first one. Perfect. Start to line these up. All right, that's looking better and better. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's go one more. Okay, let's go back here. Okay. We're getting somewhere. This is starting to look like an acceptable gearing here. Oof. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. You like that, right? Alright, let's keep going. Alright, now let's keep an eye on that 237 or 237 5 237 5 237.5 237.6, 237.6, 5 Alright, we're going to point it right at the rightmost 237.6, and we're going to go back and adjust these middle gears. Yep, that looks good. Yep, alright, now we're getting somewhere. Alright, now let's keep going here. We're going to keep going until we mess up. Man, it's just not messing up. All right, let's see what happens if we go here. Not good. I think that's actually... I think we're actually pretty good. This looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's go drive this. Let's see how this performs. We're going to stop right there. We're going to just drive this down the highway, see how it works. We're going to set it for this jump, and the reason is we're going to get some speed. We're going to get the test going through the gears a couple times, and we're also going to see how it performs around that turn before the jump. Of course, it's going to have us going backwards. Oh, shit, it didn't. Okay, so... Good launch there, good second gear, good third gear, pretty good fourth gear. It's getting through fifth pretty good. This is interesting, we're getting through sixth pretty good as well, but we're going to get into seventh going uphill. And we didn't make any progress going uphill, so typically what I want to do... I'm going to shorten that 7th gear up. We're going to make it more aggressive. I don't like 
going up a slight hill like that without gaining any speed. It wasn't a very steep hill. We should have picked up speed going up it. So let's go ahead and adjust the tuning right now. Um, so we're going to go back to 7th gear and we're going to shorten that up. Now we're going to lose some of the projected top speed that doesn't actually matter. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, how about 5? We're going to go 5 from there, then we're going to readjust this one as well. And this one, yeah, just like that. I'm liking that, liking that, liking that. So let's apply that. And we're also going to turn off traction. I had traction on because I was driving power builds. Let's turn that off. All right, let's save that. All right, now let's see how this bad boy launches. Y'all ready? Here we go. Six looks pretty good. Seventh, we're going uphill again. And we're gaining a little bit of speed. Nice, that's what you want to see. All right, so I think I'm pretty good with these gears. We're not going to get it much better than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep going down here. We're going to take this turn at full speed, see how that goes. Nice. Not bad. All right, so on to the next part of the tuning. I kind of liked the way it handled. Um, we're going to leave all that like that for now. The anti-roll bars, I'm going to change this a little bit. I like, especially for these all-wheel drives, you're going to want your front to be softer than your rear. Um, some people will tell you put it at 165. I'm not going to go that extreme, but I am going to go pretty extreme. We're going to go 1550 front, 15 rear 50. And that should help you with um, sweeping turns and um, turning as well. M more so... Uh, the middle of your turns but it helps with the understeer is basically what we're we already know that this car is going to have understeer so we're going to work on that now i like my ride heights to be even so we're going to drop this back one so it goes down to three so we're going to raise this one to three so now we're at three three and even three three So we're going to make a quick tune here with the center balance. We're just going to move this to the right and see what happens to that 0 to 100 time. We're going to go to the right most uh, that we can. Dang. That's unfortunate. Really hate to see that. Gaining a ton of time. It's 0 to 100 by doing that. That sucks. Oh, well, so what we're going to do is basically go back to where we were. We're going to push it to the right most as we can without giving up too much. And that's it. 70. We're going to 70. That's not bad. It's not great either. If you read your descriptions. Now, this is exactly from the description, and this is what we're going to do. Reducing the Excel setting makes the differential lock more slowly. On front differentials... Reduce the Excel setting can reduce understeer in front or all-wheel drive vehicles. So we're going to take that all the way down to zero. Now here at the D-cell setting, I'm going to read this to you straight from the description. Reducing the D-cell setting makes the differential lock more slowly. On front differentials, reducing the D-cell setting can increase oversteer in front and all-wheel drive vehicles. So we're trying to get rid of understeer by increasing oversteer. We're going to drop this down to zero. So our front Excel and D-cell settings are both going to be zero in an attempt to get more oversteer. And that's going to be the tune. That is the tune. Let's save the tune and give it a try. You want to try that tune you can search for all my tunes by creator my gamer tag is the nfac that means the not fooling around crew and you'll see this tune is called race v2 now the share code for this tune is one two four 
945244 Alright, so what I want to look at first is that launch. Let's see how it performs. Not too much wheel spin, that's good. The reason we take it to the Grand Pantano Sprint. This track really lets you open these cars up. Beautiful. That's exactly what you want to see when testing these cars. Beautiful. I love the way this car is performing here. This is great. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Now, as promised, I have something special for you. July 1st, F1 2022 is coming out. Now, I have a code for that for Xbox. And if you'd like a chance to win F1 22, what I need you to do is in the comment section below, tell me what you thought of the video. What did you like about the video? What did you hate about the video? And what would you like to see in future videos? Now, if you do that, make sure you do not mention the giveaway. Do not mention the giveaway. I'm going to say it again. Do not mention the giveaway. If you mention the giveaway, you will be disqualified. But if you go there and you leave feedback on this video and tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you'd like to see in the future, then you will be automatically entered in a chance to win F1 2022. Now, I have a code for that for Xbox and Xbox only. So if you don't want that game or you don't have an Xbox, please don't enter. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody and good luck my name is mike you can catch me on twitch at still nfac that's one word and on youtube at not fooling around crew that's two words thanks for watching everybody i am out